Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That never gets old. So, now that it's been a little more than a month since Elon finally delivered uh, the first Cybertrucks back at the end of November and it has a whole big event, I've been watching all the videos that everybody's been posting, you know, the Haggerty video, Marquez's video, Top Gear's video, Kyle Connor posted a two hour long video the other night. I've been soaking it all in about the Cybertruck. I've had a reservation since the day after the broken window incident four and a half, four years ago. So the question is, do I still want a Cybertruck? Not sure. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, I've had a reservation in on a Cybertruck since the day after the infamous uh, window smashing event, the original uh, unveiled the Cybertruck back in 2019 and honestly when that thing w drove up on the stage I know some people <laughs> thought it was a joke <laughs> um, but I thought it was the coolest freaking thing that I'd ever seen I love the design of the Cybertruck like you cannot beat that I mean I know it looks like a big stainless steel triangle whatever it is super awesome I, I just it's so weird looking and so crazy like I used to always think you know I, I never wanted to have a Prius or like electric cars back years ago when they all kind of looked weird you know they had the you know the Prius always looked kind of weird the new one looks cool but the old ones always just looked odd even like um, you know the BMW the, was it the i3 like it just looks weird and I never liked that I always thought man when they make cool looking electric cars I'm gonna want one and obviously you know Tesla finally started doing that but um, the Cybertruck is a whole different thing man it is crazy looking but in such a good way I just I love the design of it um, I can't deny that and you know I think it is like engineering wise it's like a breakthrough for mass production vehicles right i think it was it sandy that uh sandy monroe that did the the factory tour video and he had that interview with elon and it's true i mean the steer by wire that's awesome uh, finally a vehicle that's 48 volt system amazing right all that stuff is all good and it's tesla so you know the drivetrain is going to be amazing um you know it's going to be well built and i know some people you know complain about Tesla build quality that's like fit and finish on the body panels but the the cars themselves the chassis the drivetrain all that the batteries are always just the best in the industry right the software is amazing they just get the UI right you know um, but you know I mean do I still want the Cybertruck I mean like I said, I put the reservation in and, you know, I'm sure that I think I was like 600,000 something. So by the time that my turn comes around to, uh, to actually, you know, like place the order, it's probably still a year away at least. Right. So I've got probably plenty of time to think about it, but I'm just not sure. Do I still want a truck? I ha and when I placed that reservation for the Cybertruck, I did not have an EV. I'd never owned an EV at that point before. But I knew I wanted to. Um, and I thought that would be a great, you know, first step. And at the time, of course, we all thought the Cybertruck would be out like in two years after that. Well, that didn't happen, as we all know. Um, so in the meantime, you know, I got the Polestar 2. And I love this car. Like, I really do. I've always kind of been like a sports sedan guy. Um, always like like sport sedans. I mean, that's just what I've been into. Like, I've never really owned a pickup truck. Um, my youngest son's first car was a pickup truck that I guess you could say we we kind of owned. I drove it a bunch of times, and yeah, it's kind of cool to sit up high and stuff. But man, it was big. It was like a lifted Ram, and that thing was a bitch to park in supermarket parking lots. Um, and it, it was just gigantic. It didn't fit in, in my garage. That's how big it was. And even he like loved it when he first got it. 
and you know it wasn't very long before he realized that it was too big for him you know he just didn't like having something that massive and it was a gas guzzler so you know, when I put the, uh, the order in or the deposit down for the Cybertruck, it wasn't because, oh, I, I, I need a truck or I need something to haul things around and I want to have a work truck. I don't need any of that. I sit behind a desk all day. I'm, I don't need a work truck. Um, it's never going to be used for work, you know. <laughs> it's going to be used to get me from uh, point A to point B when I need to go to the office, want to go on a road trip. That's what it's going to be used for. So do I need a truck? I don't know. Um, and then, you know, I always, I love the way the Rivians look too. Like Rivian, another, you know, it's more traditional, but it's a fantastic design. I mean, those, those trucks are beautiful, you know, especially like from behind. They just look so cool. They have the cool lights on the front. Um, and, you know, they're fast, you know, I mean, and now you can you can lease a Rivian, um, and they're pretty attractive lease terms. Like, I was just on the website, just sort of doing a configurator. Like, you can get a um, like a pretty well spec, maybe not the top of the line, but like a pretty well spec quad motor Rivian R1T for a pretty reasonable lease price, and that's still like. I think something like 830 horsepower, zero to 60 in three seconds. And that's faster than the Polestar 2 that I'm driving right now, which is pretty quick, you know. Um, and it's a little smaller. It's more like a, a mid-sized truck, right? So if I want a truck, is that the way to go? Because, again, like, I'm not going to use a truck, like, for truck stuff. It's... It's a car. To, it's going to be a car for me. Like, it's going to be a, a, a vehicle to drive. Like, I'm not going off-roading. I don't do that. I'm not, like, into overlanding and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, leasing a truck for me would be safe in the sense that I'm not worried about damaging it, you know, by, like, off-roading it or, you know, bahaing with it or something like that. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that stuff. So, like, as far as just, like, a, you know... Uh, a cosmetic um, perspective as far as just, you know, the paint will still be pristine when, when the lease is up, you know, the tires won't be, or the, the wheels won't be all scraped up, the skid plate on the bottom won't be all scraped up, and this truck is going to live a pretty happy life sitting in a garage a lot of the time, you know, um, it's not going to live outside, so is that the better option? Now, it doesn't look as crazy as a Cybertruck, of course. And it doesn't have a 48 volt system. It's not steer by wire. But like again, like that's all cool stuff. But do I need that, or do I just want it? And for me, usually, like if I just want something, I'll just get it. You know, I mean, if it's reasonable. But that's the other thing. Like you can't you can't lease a Cybertruck right now. You have to buy it, and you can't flip it for a year, which I probably wouldn't do anyway. I wouldn't I wouldn't flip it. I mean, the only the re only reason I would even want to get rid of it would be because I didn't like it and I don't think that would be the case but I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of torn now like what do I want and do I even want a truck because um, the Polestar 4 is coming out sort of the end of this year and I really like the look of that I really love my Polestar I love the Polestar design that's kind of quirky looking. It has no rear window, which is kind of cool. Cybertruck has technically no rear window if the tonneau is down. And it's a sports sedan, kind of. So I don't know. Tell me in the comments, like, if I'm crazy or not. Like, should I get the Cybertruck still? I mean, when the time comes that I can actually get one. Should I get a Rivian? Polestar 4? Something else? I don't know. Interesting question, and, and it, it's crazy to me because for four years, I've been telling everybody, I can't wait till the Cybertruck comes out. I can't wait till the Cybertruck comes out. Cybertruck's coming. You know, when they announced that event uh, back on November 30th, I was like, Cybertruck's coming. I can't wait. I was like, all hyped about it. My wife's like, I'm never going to ride with you in that thing. It's ugly, you know, but I was like, I don't care. I think it's awesome. Um, I don't know, but now I'm just not as excited about it. It's weird, right? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. And in the meantime, regardless of what kind of EV it is, EVs are awesome and it's okay.
to be awesome. Catch you next time. Let's do it again. Like I said, never gets old. All right, we're at 53% state of charge. So I'm slowing down, let's see, okay. Going 30 miles per hour, and then we're gonna punch it. One, two, three, go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Never ever gets old. So much fun. And you can't do that in a gas car. <laughs>